If you need to set up a Grandstream GXP2170 phone, you've come to the right place. Stay tuned. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. This is Chris with Accent, and this is our GXP2170 setup video. We've got a brand new GXP2170 right here. We're going to take it out of the box, and we're going to set it up on a free PBX phone system. And this video is going to walk you through how to do it. So we're actually going to log into the phone. We're going to set it up for our extension. We're going to register it to our phone system and, and show everybody here how to use it in a nice, quick, and easy tutorial. So if you're new to the Accent Voice YouTube channel, we publish a lot of videos surrounding telecommunications, VoIP phones, reviews of uh, VoIP devices, setups, how-tos. If you're interested in that kind of thing, subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and follow us for more content regarding just VoIP and the telecommunications industry in general. And just before we get to the setup of the phone, if you want to learn more about Accent and what we do here, you can check out AccentVoice.com where you can learn all about Accent's cloud phone system, team messaging, video meetings, and cloud contact center services. Again, that's AccentVoice.com. Let's get into the setup. Okay, just to prove to you here that we've got a fresh phone, opening it up. Here it is, still in the bubble wrap, still in all the packaging. I'm going to take it out right here. There it is, even still has the plastic cover on the screen right here. So the GXP2170 is a very popular phone created by Grandstream. It's used um, in a lot of uh, SIP deployments or just uh, cloud deployments as well. A lot of phone systems out there support uh, basic SIP devices. The Grandstream GXP2170 is uh, compliant and works with all different kinds of uh, VoIP platforms, Asterix, FreeSwitch, lots of different cloud providers. And it's one of the phones that uh, Accent deploys with a lot of our cloud phone system extensions. And so in the box, you're going to have a lot of uh, you know, kind of your standard stuff with a VoIP phone. When I say stuff, what do I mean? Handset. What I like about Grandstream is they give you a power supply. Not all VoIP phone manufacturers do that, so make sure you're reading the fine print. If you don't have power over Ethernet, power supply, very handy. Ethernet cable. Handset cable. Stand. And then wall mount kit. So that's in the box. We're going to power up the phone here, put it together real quick, uh, plug it into the network, and uh, then we'll talk about how to find the phone's IP address, log into the phone, and then get going from there. All right, I've got the phone set up here. Well, I've got it put together. At least I've got the stand on it, I should say. And I've got it plugged into the network. It's just booting up right now. This is going to take a couple seconds, maybe a couple minutes, uh, just to make sure that uh, the phone goes through all its processes, gets an IP address, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, right now, I'm not going to put the handset on it or anything like that. But you can see I've got the stand on it. Got all the other stuff down here next to me. Here's the handset. And uh, we're just going to wait for it to boot up and go through its thing. All right, so the phone's up, and it kind of comes up with its default uh, wallpaper and uh, default settings. Depending on what version of the firmware the phone is on, uh, you might get a different firm. Uh, excuse me, I might get a different wallpaper, just depending on kind of when you bought your phone and what level of firmware it's on. You can always update the firmware if you like. If you're working with a cloud provider, I suggest you check what firmware they support. Uh, sometimes you'll see the, um, uh, the the SIP functions be a little different especially if maybe you're just dealing with an on-premise phone system of your own, if that's the case too, definitely make sure that um, you, you get some documentation from the manufacturer about if they have a level of firmware that they support. At Accent, we, we roll all of our phones with a specific level of firmware that we know does the trick with the Grandstream phone and our cloud systems. So the first piece of information you're going to need to know is the phone's IP address. And you want to make sure that the phone is connected to the same network that your PC or laptop is on as well, and that you can actually browse to that phone's IP address. So we're going to go into the phone status, look at the network status, and we're going to pull up that phone's IP address. It's going to be hard to see on the screen, but I've got the local IPv4 address. That's what we're going to be using to access the admin interface of the phone and start making changes to it and get it registered to our PBX. All right, so I've browsed to the phone's IP address. It's a local address. 
our local network here is a 172 address. So that address means the address I'm using, and you can't even see it because I'm just showing you the actual con the page, not the address bar. That address means nothing to you. You need to find your LAN address for your phone on your network. So make sure you've got that and you have uh, accessed it. All right, now we need the username and the password. And it is admin admin by default for older model Grandstream phones. And so we're not going to save this password and we're going to give it a new password. So uh, once the current, okay, there's the current. Let's give it a new one. And just save that. All right, we're not going to save it in the browser. Perfect. Passwords changed successfully. Okay, so now we're in and we see the account status. And now we can start configuring our phone for our phone system. And you're going to need some phone system information here, um, specifically you know, uh, phone system IP address, extension information, etc. We're going to go out and get that here in a moment. We'll get it from a free PBX. Your information is going to be different than ours, but hopefully you get the gist and the idea of how it works. So we've skipped ahead a little bit and we're looking at the free PBX now. And what you're going to need from the free PBX is this SIP secret right here and the free PBX ex extension. Uh, you're also going to need the address of your phone system. Now, again, I'm doing this with a free PBX, and you might have an on premise Mitel phone system. You might have a Cisco phone system. You might be using Ring Central. You know, you're going to need to get your extension and account information from that provider or that system. We're just in here showing you uh, on this specific instance what you would need from the free PBX. So I'm going to need the extension number. Uh, I'm going to need the uh, SIP secret. And then I'm going to need uh, the address of the system itself. And so those are the three key things we're going to need. And then when we go back over to the Grandstream phone, we'll be able to set that up and, and register the phone, hopefully. All right, so we've jumped back over to the Grandstream phone. It's GXP2170. We're just looking at the um, browser interface again. You can see the device supports six different SIP accounts, so you could register this phone uh, theoretically to six different phone systems if you wanted to. Have fun with that. Um, but we're going to jump over to accounts, and we're just going to register account one. And we're going to go to the general settings, give this account a name, and we'll tell the SIP server. We're using our, um, I can type, we're using our uh, demo phone system here. You hackers, go ahead and give it a try. You will get nothing out of it. Um, all right. You even get my user ID, which is just your extension. Okay, if you're using a free PBX, your user ID and your authentic ID is just your extension. All this information is going to get changed anyway on these systems after this video gets published, so no worries. But uh, here I've got my SIP server, I've got my user ID, and now the authenticate password. So what you're not seeing is on my other screen, I've got that SIP secret, and I'm just gonna paste it right into the password. That's way easier than typing it out. SIP passwords should be very long and very strong. Uh, that way, bad people can't gain access to your systems. I'm gonna put my name on there right now, just give the account a name, and I could throw the access number in there. That'd be the voicemail dial-in. I think with 3PBX, it's star 98, star 97, it's a star code. Um, again, find this out from your phone system. And if you don't have a phone system, go to accentvoice.com and sign up for one today, and we'll set this whole thing up for you, included as part of the process. So that's really great. Okay, we're going to hit save and apply. And I broke the one cardinal rule of setting up a Grandstream phone. Account active, yes. Save and apply again. Got the phone right next to me. Green light means we're all good. It's really that simple. I can make it take calls now. I'm calling my cell phone. You hear it's ringing. So, pretty simple. I already had a phone system set up. That was a big benefit. It's a free PBX. We know how to handle that. I know how to work with that, right? So I grabbed my extension information and I threw it in to uh, the Grandstream phone right here and voila. There's a lot of other customization that can be done.
Don't get me wrong. Um, and a lot of times that should come from your cloud provider or your system provider, maybe pushing a provisioning profile. That's certainly the approach we take where, you know, we just have to add maybe a string or two into a phone and then we push down all the information from the cloud. Uh, but, you know, if you're just trying to set something up by hand and you're just trying to get down and dirty with a making some phone calls, this is it. This is how easy you can do it. You know, a couple minutes and watching a video and you too can be a telecommunications expert. Okay, so we set up the Grandstream phone on this free PBX and we made a call, we tested it, we made sure it worked. Like I said, there's a lot of other things and customizations you could do with the phone. We're not going to cover that in this video. We do cover a lot of other great topics in our other videos on the channel. Make sure you check that out on YouTube at Accent Voice. Like this video, give it us a, a subscribe if you want to follow along for more awesome telecommunications content. We've got a lot of Grandstream content because we use a lot of Grandstream phones. We've got Yealink content, We've got all kinds of other fun content as well. Uh, we try to keep it pretty current, try to keep it up to date. Um, if you want to see things like how to make a VoIP video call, how to fail over phone systems, you know, just in general, if we like a phone or not, uh, check us out and give us a follow and watch our stuff. All right, so this has been Chris with the Accent Voice YouTube channel. Go to AccentVoice.com if you want to learn more about Accent. Again, we're a cloud phone system provider. We support the GXP2170, all the Grandstream phones, really. And uh, we'll set them up and provision them for you on our cloud. Very neat and easy. And uh, you can get real great phone service from us. If you don't want phone service from us, that's great, too. But, uh, you know, check us out anyway. Maybe you like our video meetings or team messaging, et cetera, et cetera. So... And uh, this has been Chris with Accent, and hope you found this video informational. Hope it was useful for you, and we hope to see you next time. So